Alaska's blue-white giants are dying, falling to rising temperatures in the 49th state. 34 degree water, recently melted ice and snow. Matt Sundy guides tours on the massive Spencer Glacier. So in 2009, we used to be able to step onto the ice from the end of the trail. We're in. Today, we have to kayak to the glacier's face a mile away, nimbly making our way past icebergs that have broken off. Perhaps as, as recently as 30 years ago, where we're kayaking right now, would have been under hundreds of feet of ice. Climatologist Brian Brettschneider has come to see the damage firsthand to an ice mass that's thousands of years old. This is the warmest month on record, any month, any year for this region. On July 4th, Anchorage set a new record at 90 degrees. Forest fires leave a haze that hangs in the air. Fisheries, a $6 billion industry, are jeopardized. And the ice keeps melting. A helicopter is now the only way to reach the top. They say the Spencer recedes 100 feet a year. This is a phenomenal place of natural beauty. The tragedy is it's disappearing before our very eyes. Matt Sundi's tour business, Ascending Path, is also receding. I love the aesthetic of what melt water creates, but the cause of it is, is heartbreaking. With more carbon in the atmosphere, it's getting hotter and melting glaciers, causing water levels worldwide to rise. In many other places, you can't see those changes, but they're occurring. Climate change is affecting everybody. The glacier is a bit like the canary in a coal mine. Monuments from the Ice Age now in retreat. Kevin Tibbles in the Chugach National Forest, Alaska.